Hi, I'm Joe with CJ Goods. Here is a video on putting together one of my 3D perspective pieces. These are cute little dioramas. They're one sheet projects. I'm selling these over on Etsy. This is just a quick tutorial for how to put them together. What you need is a knife, a ruler, and a little bit of glue. Let's get rolling. Now some of these sheets actually have um, no border and some do. So one of the things I like to do is if there is a printed border here, I want to cut clear across first. These are the side panels here, face in, so you actually know where to glue your different sheets. So this is my back panel. It's the ocean uh, water back here. This one is the only one where you fold forward along the dashed line. I'm gonna score these really quick with a pen to make it easier to fold. Put your ruler along the line there. Pushing a the pen weakens the fibers in the paper. It makes it easier to bend it nicely. So that will get glued here like that. We're going to do panel three next. I'm going to cut these shape, complicated shapes out before I do these clean lines. This will sort of keep things from sliding around funny. Let's flip it over and see if there's anything that I've missed separating. You can usually see things a little bit better. One of the things I've done here is I have given you nice thick lines so you don't feel like you have to cut right at the edge. You can go right through the line there. If the crackling along here bothers you because this is a nice heavy card stack, you can always take a Sharpie and gently run it along the edge. And that'll hide a bunch of the white that's popped out. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you can always take your Sharpie go all along all the edges that you just cut as well and hide as much as the white as you want to. You'll notice I'm not trying to do it on the face. I'm using the side of the Sharpie's fuzz, the foam there, to get this up. I'm not super precise. I like to glue one side at a time. So I'm gonna glue to this side first and put each of these down and then I'll put this on after. I'm gonna make use of this lovely cardstock that I've already got here and use it like a brush. Just make sure it sits flat. When you do it so things line up with the bottom edge versus the top edge. Make sure I glue this one right against the front edge here. So 
So what I mean, happened is I've cut some of these better than others. There's a little bit of tail sticking out here. Once everything's dry, I'll take my X-Acto and just trim that off. And I'll bend it flat really quick just to make sure that things are lining up so it'll fold flat. Once the glue is dry, you should be able to fold it either direction without it releasing. And then you have yourself a lovely 3D diorama that folds flat and can be a gift to somebody when you send it in the mail. <laughs>